All right, welcome human to ETSK Tutorials. So this is the third update for the prototype for the new beginner tutorial series, which I will soon be launching a Kickstarter campaign for. Uh, so the main thing that is new in this update is artwork and mainly uh, artwork within the player character. Um, so as you can see right here, I made up some concept art for what I want the character to look like. And I mean, well, there's the model right there. So you can see that the player character does look like that now obviously. But anyways, uh, to make this concept art, I first started off uh, just getting inspiration from old 90s cartoons, like cartoons that I used to watch when I was a kid. Um, and then I uh, just kind of came up with a shape or an outline for a character uh, inspired by these 90s cartoons. Uh, and then I uh, printed it out on paper and uh, sketched in pencil um, just stuff, the stuff like clothes, hair, the glasses. Just I came up with a bunch of different looks until I came up with a look that I really liked. And then I scanned that back into the computer, and then I uh, touched it up and colored it in in Photoshop, and then I made the background uh, by just repeating some shapes and then distorting them, and then just putting a a just a sponge filter over it uh, to give it a little bit of texture. And uh, yeah, so that is the uh, concept art. And then basically all today, uh, all today, um, I made this character. Um, so I did recycle the old character just a little bit. So I started off with the uh, main mesh of the character that uh, you all saw in uh, update uh, number one and two. I just did stuff like I just changed the shape of the body a little bit. I uh, gave him rolled up sleeves, which you can kind of see. I uh, gave him a um, a what is it? A polo or just a just a button up shirt. Um, and then the head was completely modeled. Uh, that was all original. I replaced the old head. Uh, and then I UV mapped it and textured it. And that is what I did today. So kind of took a few hours, but uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well for uh, just working on it for one day. And then uh, Mechanim made it really easy to uh, just drag and drop this mesh in here, and it worked great, and all of the animations still work perfectly. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, the combo system still works, and uh, yeah, the animations are still... I still don't really like those animations. I really think those animations need a lot of work and probably just need to be 100% replaced altogether. Um, but yes, uh, and then as far as the environment goes, uh, this is a um, a placeholder environment. Um, I just wanted to get uh, an environment in here as soon as possible to have a rough um, just showing what the game is sort of going to look like uh, for the final game, but basically I just wanted to get visuals in this game that would represent uh, the final game uh, as early as possible so that the look of the game can evolve over time um, and so that I can really like mess with the colors over time and just find out what the game needs to look good. So instead of doing all of the environment artwork like, like as my last step or something like that, I wanted uh, to get a rough... Uh, environment in there early on so that I can have it evolve over time and just get better. And most of these textures came from the uh, ETSKI Tutorials 100 level textures pack. Uh, so most of these textures are definitely going to be replaced because most of these came from, um, or actually all of them came from photos, uh, except for the lockers. Those actually were uh, done graphically. Uh, but all of these textures came from photos, and I want to do all of the textures graphically for this tutorial series. Um, so that is something that is going to need to be replaced. Um, let's see, I am trying to think if there's anything else new. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just the visuals are pretty much the main thing that's new. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about in this tutorial series is I wanted to talk about JavaScript versus C Sharp for this tutorial series. So there's been a lot of talk in the comments uh, about uh, C Sharp or JavaScript and which one would be better for this tutorial series. And C Sharp definitely seems like a popular opinion. And I'd have to say, personally, I lean towards C Sharp uh, too. I, uh, whenever I'm doing a project on my own and it's just my own code, 
code, I will go with C Sharp because C Sharp just works better with Mono Develop. It's a lot cleaner. Um, it has its own little quirks, um, which I mean, there's a reason for everything within C Sharp. So it's not like C Sharp's like broken or glitchy or anything. You just need to. It just takes a little bit more to understand. Uh, so just a little bit more of an advanced language, and um, you know, it rewards um, the user or the coder for it being more advanced and hard to use. Um, so it's worth it to learn C Sharp. I, uh, I just originally I wanted it to be JavaScript because JavaScript is a much more forgiving, especially with variables. Um, but uh, after I started thinking about it, I'm like, well, this tutorial series is going to be going over a lot of advanced things. Like there's probably going to be inverse kinematics inside of Blender. So inverse kinematic animation. So just so that, uh, we're clear, that is different from inverse kinematics as far as uh, like uh, with Mechanim inverse kinematics. Uh, it's just inverse kinematics to help you make the animations. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, I'm Mechanim, um, a lot of, I don't know, uh, just, there's just a lot of advanced stuff going on in this game already. Um, which of course I'm going to break down into little parts and explain each one in detail and make sure I don't move on to the next part of the tutorial until I fully, uh, explain, uh, how each part works, uh, so that you're never lost going through this tutorial series. And so that this definitely can still be, um, a complete beginner tutorial series. It can be like your very first introduction into any kind of uh, computer programming or computer graphics or especially video game design. It can just be your first uh, thing. You, there's no prerequisites uh, for this tutorial series. Um, but uh, that being said, even though there will be no prerequisites, um, it's going to be an advanced tutorial series and it's going to be something that it's going to be a little bit more above and beyond what a normal beginner would uh, normally attempt to tackle. So it is going to be an investment of time and effort to get through the tutorial series. But of course, I think it's going to be worth it because I mean, if this is what your first game looks like, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, but that being said, I, um, want to fill in the void for people who don't have as much time or maybe they they're trying to decide whether or not they want to use unity and they only have like a month to decide or something like that or maybe people want to go through this tutorial series but they just find the amount of work that it's going to take a little bit overwhelming and they want to do something smaller to start off with um, so I came up with the idea oh also to fill in the void of a good beginner place to start for JavaScript so I came up with the idea, and I've had this idea for a while now, uh, to create a simultaneous tutorial series to go alongside of this tutorial series that you can either do that tutorial series, then this tutorial series, or one or the other, uh, mix and match it however you want. Um, but make a crash course for Unity that uses JavaScript. So a tutorial series that kind of goes alongside with this one, so probably storyline-wise takes place in the same universe or just has a similar art style but is in a different uh, genre of video games such as shoot 'em up or just some sort of uh, reinvention of a retro game or a racing game or just something that'll be a lot simpler to teach in a shorter amount of time that doesn't go over nearly the amount of information uh, but can be accomplished in a much shorter amount of time and will teach you JavaScript. Um, so that's just kind of a rough idea right now. I thought I'd throw the idea out there. That's not an official, I'm not saying that's officially what is going to happen, um, but I like that idea and I just wanted to throw it out there and see what people thought of it. Um, so yeah, uh, and then there's gonna be a lot more coming with this game. Um, I got a lot of cool plans in the future, so there should be some cool updates in the near future that I can't wait to, well, I gotta make first and then I gotta show off. Uh, but anyways, I guess that's everything I have to talk about today. So until my next episode, I will see you later and keep making games.